Hello everybody and welcome to this really fun and exciting video where I'm going to take this and turn it into a bass guitar. Homemade DIY. Um, it's funny that I say homemade and DIY because I actually had to go to a couple different places to get all the stuff I needed to do this. So, um, <clears throat> I've been wanting to do stuff like this for years and just haven't had a place to do it. I don't know how this is going to work because from everyone I've seen do stuff like this, there's like this whole like kind of guessing with a lot of stuff. So, um, what I have is I got a yardstick for my fretboard and, um, this piece of wood. Okay, but um, what a lot of people do is they do like a shorter scale version. And I've seen a lot of people also have like really fat fretboards. And um, I thought that was kind of silly. Uh, Cause like the whole purpose of this should be having total ease playing. Um, and because a lot of people do shorter scale versions I don't know if doing a full scale version is going to work, but that's what I'm going to try to do. <clears throat> so, um, what I did, I have a Dean flying V and I went and measured it and from nut to bridge, well, nut to where the strings go in. Um, I can't remember what that's called. Um, but it's 36 inches. So it is a yardstick. Um, and I measured out to where, um, 17 inches from the nut up here is, um, the 12th fret. And when you put this in the water jug, um, the part where I'm going to cut out of the neck area goes down to about 19 and a half to 20, um, so I'm actually going to cut this around, um, I think 21 and a half or 22. I'll cut it at 22. Um, my fretboard on my Dean ends at 24 and then the actual bridge is at about 34. So I will put the bridge at 34 um, and all that shit, but I do need to cut this because, um, I mean, I guess I don't have to draw a line. There's a line there already at 22 inches. Um, I need to cut this so I have some room to play. Um, and I need to cut it before I glue it. So now I just have to find some sort of saw and you would think oh jesus christ did i just breaks i sure fucking did okay you would think that because i am in a boiler room actually i don't know what you would call this maybe a a car hole um and i'm on a workbench that there would be tons and tons of tools and there are, but there's no saws. And the only saw I have is a giant motherfucking saw. So I'm gonna be looking right now for a saw. So let's see, let's see what I saw. I mean, I guess I could use a chisel. Oh man, I, this, this whole project already sounds shaky at best. Uh, I've got lots of chisels. Oh, that too is a chisel. So how are you doing this, you say? I'm I'm sawing my yardstick with a dull file. Because obviously that is how you do shit when you don't know how to do shit. So there's probably a much easier way to do this. But 
The funniest shit is I'm gonna find a saw as soon as I finish this. Should I just look? Let me just keep looking. Oh, I got a razor blade and a putty knife. Should I try a razor blade? It's kind of stupid. Sounds like something I'd do. Uh, I got a lot of bits. What's this? Saw blade? Okay, hey, we're in luck. I found some saw blades. So here we go. We have a, what, what, what brand is this? Um, it's tough. It's hyper tough and it's wood and I'm cutting wood. So let's see if this works with my little hand. Can you believe that I'm doing this like this? Like some sort of psycho? Okay, so this is working a lot better than the file because this has fucking teeth on it. So I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. Can I just bend it now? Yep, I can. Perfect. That is what we call a nice fucking break. But I need some sandpaper and I can't find any. So we have our fretboard. Should be long enough. And then that will give us a bit of room to play. So now what we gotta do is... What do we got to do? I'll show you. <sighs> I got all this stuff in my pants. <sighs> got some screws. I'll put everything I use down below. Except obviously this. I have no fucking idea what I just did. You know how I be. Let's read wood glue instructions. Short clamp time. The surfaces must be clean and dry, whatever. Joints should fit tightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apply a heavy spread of glue to the surface and clamp for a minimum of 30 minutes. Do not stress joints for 24 hours. Remove excess wet glue with clean, damp cloth. Close cap after use. <sighs> Load bearing, okay. Use when temperature, glue and materials are above 50 degrees. Oh shit. I don't know if that's gonna work because it's cold as shit here right now. All right. Open the glue. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let's just apply. Across to where am I going? To here. Sweet home Chicago. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I'm rubbing glue with my finger. So here I am. Look, I'm rubbing glue with my finger. Oh my gosh, it's already getting tacky. Holy shit. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. What a douche. Oh no. Ah! 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 <laughs> I'm the worst person ever at doing stuff. Ah! That was kind of a mess, and I got some glue over here I need to clean up. All right, whatever. This is fine. Let's just put this puppy on. Wow, that was kind of a train wreck. Okay, so I got glue on my fingers and on my thumb. All right. I got glue on my fingers. I got glue on my thumb. I got glue on my fingers. I got glue on my thumb. Oh, actually, I will use this piece up here as kind of a joint protector. All right, so we are gonna clamp this 
like um, I just found some bubbling crude because that's Judd Clampett. Get it? Oh, funny guy on the warpath. Look out. Okay. Loosen that up a little bit to get that centered where I want it. And my baby, down, down, boom, bear, down, bam, bam, bam. So let's. Oh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Come on, guys. The fuck. Am I right? Here we go. Alrighty. So it's gonna work over here ah! okay so i guess i'm supposed to come back in 30 minutes oh my skin's coming off Ew. oh god all right all right it's been a hot minute so let's see how this went. Uh, crap, I still have fucking glue on me, dude. This stuff, I swear, I swear, I swear. Um, I don't know where to take it off from first. Malted milk, malted milk. Boom. There it is. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it very well from there. But <clears throat> this is how it's going to be here. It is going to go like share. See if I did my measurements right. Yeah, looks like I did. Pretty cool. So as you can see, um, the 12th fret is going to be about right here, but this is going to be fretless. So there's that. This bit right here, I'm going to cut this out and then um, screw into the sides here to hold this in place. And then down here at the bottom, I don't know if you can see through there or not. I'm gonna screw up through the bottom there. <clears throat> but um, like I was saying in the beginning, I, I saw some people do this and <laughs> like the plus side I get from this is that a bunch of people did it and then said, like, oh, if I did this again, I would have done this. So, um, I'm doing that. And there was one guy who actually had his strings go through the wood and then out the bottom. And that's usually how everyone has it. But then he had it go all the way out through the uh, back of the bottle to make it resonate more. And there's also a dude I saw who puts springs in there to help give it some reverb kind of thing. So I may go get some of those and do that tomorrow. Unless I could find some springs here. Which might actually happen. So this here... 
Um, I got a guitar center and they had to put no returns because um, I'm buying just random parts. Okay, the screws better be in here too, but basically I got these Jackson um, machines or um, tuning spokes or tuning, whatever the hell you wanna call them. But what I wanted to do was I need to make sure that I have a drill bit big enough to shove this bad fucker through that piece of wood. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it is, I think it might be too big. That's what she said. Am I right? <laughs> no, seriously, this is ridiculous. Okay, I might have to take some I have to take some of this off. Shit. Oh man. Talk about a tight fit. I'm gonna have to take some of this off. God damn it. How much am I gonna have to take off here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take off, like, god damn it, I should have fucking measured that. I'm gonna have to take off, like, I don't know, like, uh, probably, I mean, an eighth of an inch would do it, but I should probably do, like, a quarter. Well, that fucking sucks. That's a whole other goddamn thing to do, but that's why you do this stuff. You make it up as you go, and then shit gets real. And the funny thing is, like, these the tuning pegs are, like, the, by far, the most expensive thing that's on this apparati. Yeah, this is gonna look nice. These are very fucking sweet looking. I like it. I like it. So... We have Jackson gunmetal gray uh, tuning pegs or machines or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Okay, well, I will figure this out and get back to you. There it is. Look at that. Uh, I'm no dummy. Okay, so first, we are going to take our fretboard and I'm going to make sure to measure this one more time and I'll use this and let me get out my samurai knife. <sighs> so I'm gonna go two and a half inches from here. So one, two and a half. And then one, two, Did I already mark that before? Yeah, I kind of did. All right, so we're gonna do this side for the top string and this side for the bottom string. And just to make sure I'm not a complete fucking fool, Okay, so we need to be like right here with it over just a little bit. And so to do that here, go about right there. So here are our holes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to do this without murdering myself and damaging property. Both very important when doing something like this. Boom. <clears throat> so, like you do, you make sure it's not on a flat surface. Um, very wobbly. And you get the biggest drill bit you can find. And you just go for it. Let's, let's start off slow. Oh, 
Instead of losing gas. Is this thing even going through? There it is. Fuck me. All right. And again, that is very wide. And I don't think we're going to be able to fit through there. So we're going to need a bigger hole. But just like I thought, this is dying. What we are going to do is make our bridge and our nut. But how do we do that? Oh, you're so clever. I'll show you, you silly gooses. Okay. <clears throat> so this actual piece of wood was very long and this was some of it. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to measure and saw. So I'm gonna take like a triangle off of this bit. And then after we cut this triangle, this way we're gonna cut straight across. So this is what we call a very narrow margin of error. So I thought I'd get the biggest saw I could find and give it a fucking go. So let's do this, huh? Huh? Oh, this is not stable at all. Let's try this. Oh, this is also not stable. Well, let's try it like this. I'm on a box. You wanna come see me? Pull back a couple times. Hopefully without moving. There we go. And you want to do big strokes. Oh, shit. Yeah, as you can see, I am a professional. I took wood shop in high school. Okay, I also don't want to cut my fretboard. So here we go. Just on. And you know what you should always do when sawing? Do it on top of a box full of paperback books. Um, this is shocking. It's in shambles. Okay, so now let's do the next bit, which will be this triangle right here. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Stay put. Whoa, it broke off. So there's that. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. One of the videos I saw today, the man said, you need no woodworking experience to um, be able to do this. And I'm gonna beg to differ. I'm going to beg to differ. I think um, some woodworking at chops would make this a lot easier. All right. So I have this horrible piece here. Let me see. Oh, I have a chisel. So I could, oh, this is all fucked up, dude. I think I'm pretty, pretty fucking agile. Like a cat. Like a snow leopard. The big files are right next to the pedophiles. <laughs> oh gosh, I am on fire. Well, let's break out of jail, guys. Let me see if I could just file this fucker down. <laughs> What's the saying? Measure twice, cut once. Okay, fuck off. You got to motherfucker. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it just fell on the ground again. And chipped a big-ass piece off of it. Oh. When will I fucking learn? Maybe this is why people don't really show the um, making of of this shit because it's fucking laughable. <sighs> yeah, don't do this unless you're in your dungarees, guys. Very important. Maybe that'll sit. You guys think that'll sit? Without a clamp on it? It's not really going anywhere. Unless I move it. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be great. Here, let me see if I can do this without breaking it. Survey says. So we're gonna let that sit. And we're also going to, oh, well, here, I should do this so you guys could see the stick. Um, I got to see if any of these are going to work. I have no idea how this is going to work. Oh, sorry. I'm going to try to take half of this off with my little, with my little handsaw. You guys are like, if this thing even fucking plays, you know how amazing that's going to be? Believe me, guys, I do. I fucking do. It's just like cutting fucking veggies, right guys? It's like I'm chopping carrots. Ow. This is probably the most dangerous thing you'll see me do within the next five minutes. I'm pretty sure YouTube is gonna ban this video. Like, this is going to be one of those, like, yeah, dude, we're guidelines and you being a complete douchebag. Um, we have decided. Pretty sure that's how that's going to go. <sighs> I wish I knew where my hacksaw was. God, not knowing where your shit is is, like, one of those things, man. But, you know. Shit fixes itself, doesn't it? Is that a straight line? You know what's even be stupider is if the tool that this hooks onto is actually here. Warning, blades are very sharp, gotcha. Oh, God, I just want a fucking beer. Hello. Um, yes, so let's look at this. So, bridge is on, fretboard is on, nut is on, and I have one hole for my tuners, but I need a bigger hole because I do not think that this will fit. We are good to go, because this thing's fucking huge and I think it's too big. So what do you get when your drill bit is too big? A fucking nightmare of shit. So let's see if I'm gonna be able to do this without destroying everything. <sighs> now I think this hole's too big. Yeah, that hole's too big. So now I have a giant fucking hole in my headstock. Tits. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like doing stuff. Ow. Yeah. That's gonna bleed. I got the holes in here for the tuning spokes. This is a bad hole. I might cut the head a little short, but I'm gonna use this file and do little grooves for the strings. And I'm gonna do that down here on this side too. And I 
Got the string holes in there. So, yeah, I just did a little couple notches there. Oh, wait, let's see. I don't want to go too deep because I want to kind of hear what I'm playing with before I start making any um, decisions. But yeah, so um, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to start sanding. And some down here too. So the strings will come up through here, go over this and go all the way down here, go through here, one tuner, tuner. All right, everybody. So um, I, I did this and didn't tell you guys about it, but um, I sawed half of this down um, to there. And now my tuning spokes fit in here. And I did the grooves on both ends. I did the holes. And now we're sanding. I fucking got sandpaper. Can you believe it? So um, I don't know where I'm going to start. So I guess we'll just start here. So let's see how this goes. I really want to get this smooth. So that is going to be the plan today. kind of scary. I'm not really sure what happened there. Yeah, that is still dangerous. So we're just going to use a little bit of this. So check out this stain. Hell yeah, that came out so fucking cool. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, look at that. It's so freaking nice. Look. That is exactly what I wanted it to do. Like, it's weird because a lot of times when I um, have bright ideas, they don't work. Jesus. All right, so um, we're out in the sun trying to dry as best as we can and I just fucking love this oh, I'm so happy with how that turned out I'm sorry about the shadow it's just oh it's great and I love this bit down here like with all the grain look at that oh just gorgeous. I'm so fucking happy with that. All right. So I got the tuners on. They are very pretty. They're Jackson gunmetal gray. So that works. And then I went ahead and drilled two little holes in here because I'm going to try something. I saw um, a dude do with a cigar box guitar. That I don't know if it'll work on here or not, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna string this fucker up. So I put strings on it before I put it in the, um, whatchamacallit, the water tank. And I am using these uh, Diodario Phosphor Bronze. And um, I'm not sure I picked a good string, but I do like the gold on the blue. Now, if you notice up here, I had to fucking tie some goddamn or screw some fucking bolts in to hold the strings down because... Um, I couldn't get the top string to not buzz. And if you notice, that thing is coming out. And I accidentally went all the way through. Um, let me see if you can see it. I don't think that 
bolt right there is long for this world. So I gotta come up with a, another way of um, keeping these down. And I think if I were to do it again, I would definitely put the tuning keys way higher up the neck um, or up the headstock. I don't know why I did it like that, but I did. So here we are. And then we got our, we got our balls coming out the back right there. Come on, there we go. So some good balls, yep. <sighs> so I think I'm gonna start working on the damn thing right now. So we are starting on the water tank. <clears throat> and I already cut a hole in it, like a douchebag. Um, and it was really tricky. I had to use a steak knife because I couldn't get anything else to work. And most people cut this whole bit out, the handle, but I like having the handle. I want to be able to carry it around. So, um, it's not a perfect circle by any means, but I don't think they ever are. So I'm going to cut this up here now, because if this is the side, then this is the front. And so I gotta cut that out like that. And this is super thick, so this is gonna take fucking forever because I don't have any tools, because I'm an idiot. And I almost bought a Dremel tool yesterday, and I'm like, no, I don't need that. And guess what, I fucking need it. I should have fucking had it the whole time. Okay, why is this, oh, because it's on something. Jesus Christ, I had to cut a ton of this stuff off to be able to get this in here to where the strings will sit. And I'm having a really hard time keeping it level. Um, <clears throat> and everything is in, like, I don't know how I'm going to fix all this stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um... And then I wanted to show you this. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I put that hook in the spring on and stretched it out about six inches. And it does. Here, I don't know if I could actually get up it. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't know. Okay, like here. I'm going to just have to show you guys something. So. Um, <clears throat> Like, it almost sounds like distortion. It's really weird, like gain. So basically, the spring totally helps with getting the sound out. I don't exactly know the science behind it. But um, it's very gainy, so um, I don't know. It doesn't have that like smoothness that it had before I put it on. So I might take it off, I might leave it on, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to just finish the drill hole, so I'm gonna screw right here and screw right there, and then I think we're done. So we'll see. I think it's done. Um, my power drill died before I could get that screw all the way in. <laughs> so that's just par for the course today. Now I'll say so, kids. So, kids. Um, we're done, I think. Um, the spring is actually working quite well. Um, I What is that? Um, my power drill ran out before I could get this screw all the way in. So, um, we're just gonna have to deal with that. So I put this down here so you guys can take a, oh, so you guys can take a listen. So hand goes in. I'm still trying to find all the notes, but, um, I need to actually mark it. It's 
It's not very comfortable to play. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't like the neck. I should have totally rounded it or else um, I just need to get used to it. And I'm not 100% with what's going on down here. I feel like the action's a bit high, but I honestly don't know if it would play better because when I play it, it looks like it would start hitting the fucking wood if it came down any lower, so I don't know. It's not very comfortable yet. And it rolls all over the place. I basically move a half note up every time I <laughs> replay something. So yeah, it's just I gotta, it takes some practice getting used to the fretless. But I do like that, like when it's down here, it's like. Oh, I love it, dude. I love that. I will say that this is very fiddly and this whole thing was a very fiddly experience and um it's kind of weird because i really want to start making like cigar box guitars and um little paint can resonators and stuff like that um but the fiddly shit is really annoying and not having the right tools guys get the right tools if you're going to do anything it just makes the whole thing so much more enjoyable um trying to fucking like awful awful so um you know get the right shit and it'll be a lot of fun like this was fun to make i wish it was done completely done but i need to get that screw in so um i'll just charge the fucking drill and do it in a minute um in a little bit here but um yeah it was it was tricky because a lot of the stuff i had to kind of make up as i went um and not having like a sander like if you had a sander like a oh shit dude you'd have been done in no time but yeah it's pretty echoey in here so yeah, um, this is the water jug um, bass guitar, fretless. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Thanks for watching.
So anyway, um, yeah, I'll be doing that for hours now, annoying the hell out of everybody. So um, somebody get me a cup of coffee. And um, I don't know. Um, make sure you're on Patreon if you're not on Patreon yet. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and come by the website, IHateMountWall.com. Check that out, and I guess that's it, and I will talk to you guys later. So, bye-bye, everybody.